Recently, I got a comment on making a video on how to solve these kinds of questions. Question like these comes in a lots and lots of competitive exams. So knowing how to approach and solve these kinds of questions is extremely important. And that is what we are going to do in this video. So let's begin. Before starting, I have a question for you. Would you like to win exciting prizes with your math knowledge? If yes, then let me tell you about All India Olympiad Foundation, which conducts exciting Olympiads in various subjects, including math, all over India. The best part about this is that if for some reason you do not qualify this examination, then all your entrance fees is refunded back to you with a detailed report on how you performed and what are your weak spots. Now what happens if you win this? If you are your city topper, then you get a 18 karat gold plated medal. If you are your zonal topper, then one year of your school fees is paid by them. The state toppers will get a prize of 1 lakh rupees and national toppers will get a prize of 5 lakh rupees. And if you only qualify this examination, you will get some gift, goodies and certificates costing you 500 rupees. Any student from class 1 to 10 can take part in this competition. So visit their site from the link in the description of this video and take part in this exciting competition. Okay, so now let's come back to the video. Questions like these are considered very tricky by a lot of people. And the reason behind this is that most people approach these kinds of questions by hit and trial. For example, like they will try to take some differences, try dividing the series numbers to find some pattern, which is somewhat correct. I also used to do these kinds of questions like this by hit and trial. Sometimes we are able to find the answer extremely quickly and sometimes none of our ideas work, we don't see any pattern in these kinds of questions and we simply give up. So what is the better way to approach these kinds of questions? This is the question which I asked myself when I read this comment. So what I found out is that there is no certain way, certain formula to solve these kinds of questions. It is somewhat like hit and trial but with some amount of preparation and knowing some kinds of tricks, a little amount of method, we can increase our chances of solving these kinds of questions tremendously. So now my first task is to get you familiar with most common series which appear in these kinds of questions. Okay, so the first kind of series is arithmetic series which is the most common series. In these kinds of series, the numbers are separated by a fixed common difference, for example this one or this one. Extremely easy. The second kind of series is known as the geometric series. This series is obtained by multiplying or dividing a fixed number with the preceding number of that series, for example this one or in this one. Being too easy, in most of the question you won't see these two series, but the combination of these two appears a lot. For example, this one. See, we add 4 and multiply 10. Or for example, this one. So what will we do if a question like this come? There is no formula to get the answer. But now, in your mind, there is that it could be a combination of arithmetic and geometric series. So let me try out some combinations. And if you try those, like if I multiply 2 with this and then add 2, okay, okay, there is this pattern. And that is the only way to reach to the answers of these kinds of questions. There is some hit and trial, but I gave you some knowledge too, that there could be combination of arithmetic and geometric series. And also after knowing all the series, I will share some really important tricks, which will help you to solve these kinds of questions even faster. Now the next series is the series of prime numbers. These kinds of series appear a lot and most of the time the prime number series appear for numbers less than 100. Because the examiner also knows most people do not remember the prime numbers after 100 like they don't remember the prime number which are in 500s etc etc. Okay so the prime series questions mostly come for numbers below 100. Okay. Now the next really common series is the power series which is a series in which for example this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 are raised to some power. For example, a power of 2 will make this series this one. A power of 3 will make this series this one. Now some question also comes on series known as reversal series. They are nothing just the series I told you, just their numbers are reversed. For example, look at this cube series 27, 64, 125. If we reverse its numbers, 
this series will come this series is known as reversal series now if nothing ever worked in your ideas on finding the missing number you can think of like i just reversed the numbers now let's try to find a pattern and you will see oh this is a cube series and you will quickly get your answer now another really important series which appear a lot is known as two tire series in this one the difference between the successive series numbers creates one of the previously discussed series for example this series in this series if we take the difference between successive numbers we get a arithmetic series so now you are getting like i am filling you with ideas on how to solve these kinds of questions if this doesn't work try something else try reversing the numbers etc etc just preparing you to approach these kinds of questions now another kind of series is known as twin series in this series two series are clubbed into each other for example this in this series there are two series this one and this one another really important series is this one this is known as the fibonacci series more famously known as the fibonacci sequence in this series the next term is found out by adding previous two terms for example 1 and 0 plus 1 is 1 then 1 plus 1 is 2 and so on this series is also a really famous series so if nothing ever worked try the fibonacci sequence now here are some tips and tricks to solve these kinds of question even faster whenever you see a series kind of question like this first take the difference between the successive terms okay now if you see the difference is constant it is arithmetic series as simple as that now if the difference is increasing or decreasing by a large number then it could be a multiplication or division by some number or their combination so it could be geometric series or the combination of arithmetic and geometric series now if the difference between the numbers is greater than 6 then you won't check for prime series because the greatest difference between two prime numbers less than 100 is 6 okay so if the difference is greater than 6 it couldn't be a prime series now if the series is increasing or decreasing by a tremendous amount then there could be squares or cubes involved resulting into a power series and now if you don't see any pattern at all like you are saying there is no pattern in this series okay then it could be twin series reversal series or two tire series try to find out the series which their difference follows okay so these were some tips which will increase your chances of solving these kinds of questions a lot so i hope you have understood this video and learned how to approach these kinds of questions try out some questions and see if you have improved if you are a student from class 1 to 10 then do visit the all india olympiad foundation site and take part in this exciting competition thanks for watching this video and always remember that math is everything